Cyclist.io Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of User Fresh Lettuce. I am your co-host Rachel. And I'm Jaya. And in this episode we're going to be talking about guys who chased you just to, to change, change you. you. Follow us each and every week at YDFL Podcast on social media. Or on YouTube or Ask Alexa. Like, subscribe, listen, share with three friends. All the things. All the things. Okay, you know what? The thing of this, the thing about this topic is it applies to anybody, whether you're a guy who was chased down by a woman mm -hmm. um, or a woman who was chased down by, by a, man a man or locked down. Um, there is, seems to be this little trend in all I of history, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. To lock you down just to change you. So let's get into it. All right. So would that mean like you see a total coming out of jail? You're like, I just, I just want to. <laughs> oh my God, we're going to go to go the street. I'm doing, <laughs> doing the Lord's work. Oh my God. You know, I can give you like a better example. Okay, I mean, a better, we, that's not a good you know, example. I mean, I mean, like, <laughs> Wait a you know, minute. <laughs> you're like, that's a bad hey, example. We got the tequila here. You're like, that was a real bad example. Let me get you a better one. We're like, no, yeah, yeah, There could be a guy, let's just say, when you're dating and he just acts like you're he's so open minded and he just loves this about you. For example, let's talk about like maybe a tire. I know mm. that when I was, you know, young and you know, what all whatever, I used to dress a certain way and that person that I was dating who I ended up marrying was like all about it until all of a sudden I got married and when I tell you this guy packed up hefty bag after hefty bag after hefty bag of clothes oh, and threw them away no. and so when I moved it I thought we were packing to like move me out of my house and it was like to move into like our little place and, and no joke he made like a pit stop and dropped off and like threw away all my clothes and then took me to um, it wasn't Walmart but it was like a Walmart type place and it was like bought me like the the, the the long skirts to like the shins with the elastic and like the pleats and that flowers. That is so sexy. No you didn't like joke. that? <laughs> Literal. Hey, it was so not sexy that even he didn't like it. Yeah, he was, he was like, 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 don't touch he me. Was like, don't get near me. And so that's a very um, extreme example of how this how happens. Happen, but that yeah. actually happened to someone like me that was like, I'm very what like, in the outgoing. heaven on earth. But you know what? So because you're making that reference, it kind of reminds me of like the Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, you know, where he went in. He's like, you're not wearing any of these things. Yes. Granted, she was so caught up in his... Mr. West is in the what, building. Whatever it is that, you know, 10 years later, she's like... I don't even know how to dress. I don't even know like she dress. didn't even know what her identity yes. was like, and of course now she's doing this whole boot thing. That I'm like, I mean, are we jumping on the boot thing where you're like just wearing the boots with the pants That's and the Bal pants with the boots? Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah. yeah, you know, if you have, I'm sure that you know Sheen's gonna come up with the Balenciaga <laughs> look, and it's probably not oh, gonna be very Balenciaga yeah. look. But but it's it's kind of reminding me of that, like. You know, is so that what that looks like? It, it does, and let me tell you, especially if you're like a young bride, or I don't, I don't, I think a bride of maybe any age, if it's your first time being a wife, a wife, there is this tendency to want to please and and make it all work, and unfortunately, sometimes guys change. You know, you get yeah. married, and then they go. They were one guy when they were like dating you, and then they get married, and they go into this role of like now I'm the man, and now I'm this. Um, and then guess so what? True. You might want to be like, okay, well now I have to be into like the super, you no, know, whatever wife. And I can tell you, for me, it was like trying to change my wardrobe. And I, it took me five years. When I tell you, I remember driving to a television station at 19 years old. It was my first big media job. Yeah. And at this television station, and I was wearing those long pleated skirts with like the. Top. I even I have pictures. One day I will like. You're like I'm not hey, even kidding. We're, we're, not we're trying to be funny. When we're being like, interviewed, this is real. When we get interviewed on Oprah, I will submit the photos. I will submit. <laughs> I got proof. But what I would, but I, but I didn't know better. I mean, I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was uncomfortable, and it was there that the station manager who kind of took a liking to me, he was like, "What are you doing? Like, you're, like, he, you're gonna sell nothing." He no, I wasn't in sales, but oh. he was like, I was his executive assistant, but he. Oh. This thing was like, he, you're married to someone who sees how attractive you are and that he's he trying wants to hide to, like, it. Mute it. I yes. remember, I, I did know, like, I've known a few people that, you know, were very hair done, makeup done, false eyelashes, nails, this, that, 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 that. And then all of a sudden they get with this guy and he's like, you're naturally beautiful. 
I love you the way you are. And then all of a sudden, mm. gains 20, 30 pounds, oh no makeup, no hair is done, hair is in the back in a ponytail. And then, but he's like checking out the girls, like that the girl that he, how, yeah, that like she used that, to look like that. Yeah, and then yeah. you're like, well, isn't that what you just had or, you know, and then all of a sudden you get stuck and you're like the Kim Kardashians of the world where you're like, what happens now? Where's my identity? Like what now? And I, and I think that, you know, going back to what you're saying, I mean, there are girls though that also going back to what I first said, there are girls that think that they can change a guy that's a bad guy oh. or a bad boy that came out of jail, that did the things. And there are women still that to this day, by the way, that wait for the man to get out of jail and oh he you know he has a good head on his shoulders he just did a couple bad things and the woman's trying to change him and be like well we, we're gonna get him to be more business oriented if the man's not business oriented he's probably not going to be and you cannot physically psychologically change a person that no doesn't amount of memos want you write for change. him no amount of things problems if he you doesn't saw want to change he's not gonna do it He's not going to do it. And you know what? It's a, it's a wonderful example because women, I think, they do view men as their projects. And it's unfortunate. It goes back to the potential. Potential. You know, seeing oh my gosh, the potential yes. in him and, like, literally treating him like a DIY project. And at the end of the day, I think, you know, men, just like women, need to look at their, this, the other person across the table and say, if, if, if I'm purchasing as is, do I love them as is? as is? Do you have an expectation that over time and years and with wisdom, you know, maturity comes mm -hmm. or certain things come? Yeah, you know. But I can tell you that to go and say, oh, my God, I am so attracted to her, but I'm going to make sure that when she's mine that no one notices her. You have, you are an insecure individual and you need to work on that. It doesn't mean you're broken. It doesn't mean you're, it's not worth marrying you still. Right. It just means you have some work to do to, to, do. to, to say, you know, is it because I don't trust myself? Is it because I don't trust her? What is like, it? Like, what is it? Because it's a trust issue. Right. I mean, it depends on who you talk to, right? Because I know that there's a lot of people with religious beliefs. And, of course, there's we can get into that where they, like, have to cover everything up. And I get that. And so if that's the case, and that's this is not probably the episode for you, but yeah. we're talking just, like, in general. Like, if the person's just trying to, like, mute you, who you are, it could be your personality. You might be just so out there and you're like you know the party goer and you're like everyone loves to be around you and all of a sudden it's like when we get there you better stop and you better not do yeah. this and you better yeah. sit down and don't be talking to people it gets on my nerves and then maybe the guy's so insecure he doesn't want you to have a conversation with another person God. the opposite sex but yet he's out there like doing the things doing the toast with everybody doing yeah the most so i think the double standards are really hard in those situations um i do think that you know, if you if you are attracted to a woman who dresses provocatively, I know, like I said before, I got married. I used to dress very provocatively. You know, you have to say, hey, there's something about her that there's something about that that you like Light. in a woman. Um, but to try to strip her of that once you're married, it, it isn't fair. Even though I did change, yeah. Um, but I changed into someone who was, I guess, more professional because of the line of work that I was in. Yeah. And so it was like we talk about being on brand, you know, recently yeah. that's been yeah, coming up a lot lately. Brand, and yeah. so I just stay on like brand, so to speak, um, for me. But I can tell you that. You know, if you meet her that way, you have to be willing to sort of accept that this is who she'll be, whether she's pushing a stroller, you know, an eight inch platform heels with like, you know, a mini skirt, whatever that is that got your attention. You can't like sit there and but see I do, one but thing. I do, but I do think, hold on, I do think there's a time and place for everything, right? You're going to go down, if you're going to go to a park, you're not going to be wearing no stilettos and like, you know, well, the little Beverly like Hills seven, said, you know. Beverly Hills has entered the chat saying, I beg to differ. <laughs> well, I'm just saying like there the is, yeah. you know, like, you know, there's time and place for everything. Like, I think like if you're going to go to a meeting, you're not going to wear like, you know, unless you're trying to really lack up the deal, yeah. which I, we're not talking about that, yeah. by the way. And yeah. I would never do that. But I'm just saying like, it just depends. Like, it has to be like you met her this way, but she carries herself in a classy way because yeah. you could be dressed like a nun. You could be a total whole bag. Oh, bad. And like so that. it has nothing to do with what you're wearing. I mean, it, it's it, like a man who wears a wedding ring. Does it doesn't mean that he's gonna act, act married. like he's married? Like, exactly. Period. Just like a woman can dress provocatively and not be a hoe, a woman can dress, you know, conservatively and actually be a, be hoe. a hoe. Like it doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, I think that if you're looking at someone, if you see a man and he's very outgoing mm -hmm. and he's very just charming with people and everything, and all of a sudden you marry him and you're like, yeah, well, I don't want you being that way. 
Yeah. Or you see that he's a family man, and now you're like, well, guess what? Like, you know, no. you put my, us first, not your family. There's all these things that come into play I where know. women can be very controlling, yes. by the way. and catty. But also, men do it, too. They and do. it is insane, because if you're a man that enters a, you know, woman's life, and she has sisters, and all of a sudden you're like, I don't want you to hang out with your sister. Mm. I don't want you to hang out with your cousin. Like, I don't want her to drop. Like, it's a weird... What is that? So I don't really know what that is. I don't either. But I mean, I've happens. never experienced that, but I've heard of it where there's like a certain friend. And but here's what I think too with when it comes to certain friends or even family, I think that a lot of the time it's it's kind of like what we talk about, it's like bonding in the BS. Um you might say something negative about the one friend because you're bonding in the BS. And then all of a sudden, he's like, "Oh, I didn't know that about her." Like maybe your husband doesn't know that Maybe she's sleeping with the boss, and you think it's easy just to be like, yeah, you know, and yeah. blah, 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 and then all of a sudden, he's like, well, I don't want you hanging out with her. So that happens, too, because I think yeah. a lot of the time, we want to be open because, you know, we're friends, and you know what, but there are things that you should say to your husband, and there are things that you shouldn't say to him. I call it, you know, I call it, you know, the, the fail to mentions. Um, and, and the bonding and the BS, listen, I have taken that slogan and I implemented it in mm -hmm. culture decks at major yes. media companies yes. because it was actionable. Like I yes. would actually come in and say, I will have you fired if For you bonding. are li literal words bonding in the BS because it's a, it's a very toxic thing to do. It's toxic among friends. It's toxic in work environments yeah. and it's toxic in your marriage. You might feel like you and your husband are kind of gossiping yeah. um, about whoever. Your husband's not the person to be gossiping with. Like that's feminine energy. Mm -hmm. It's really odd. It makes you look like a two-faced because then you're going to go out to lunch with that girl. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's like, didn't you just sit here for 30 minutes talking Talk about crap? whatever? But oh, maybe you're shoes. talking crap about your friend because you don't want your husband to see her in the light. You want to see him to see her kind of in the dark mm -hmm. there's so many things but if you're talking about getting into a relationship with someone that you're like yeah and now you want to change him there was an example that I was going to use and I was like that dude used to do that before you mm -hmm. got with him and I can't think about it did I mention it to you I don't there was someone so. that I was like but he did that before I was like you know let's just say he parties I, don't, I actually don't have the answer but I lost my train of thought okay but there are situations that you see what he's about you mm -hmm. see what he's about already when you're dating him. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you get with him and it's serious. You have a kid or you get married. And now you want him to stop doing that thing. And it's mm -hmm. like, but he's always, you know, ridden Been horses. Or, like, okay, that's what it is. Like, we'll talk about the fishing thing. Not to yeah. be, like, bringing anybody up. But I have family members that are married to people that, like, they fish. I've met other uh, ladies that they're, that men love, especially corporate men, they love to go on, like, fishing trips and stuff like that. Or they like, like to golf. Or golf or hunting, no matter what it is, yeah. right? If he did that before, how are you going to marry this guy and then be super annoyed that that's yeah, he what he's going to do that. on Sundays? And so that's the stuff that comes up a lot, by the way, right. that the men complain about. Because they're like, oh, she doesn't want me to go because it's not. And it's like a thing. And it's like trying to change Someone. the guy and be number one all the time in the relationship. Right. But men, there's something about men that want to dethrone these women. They want a little, they love the challenge of getting mm -hmm. a beautiful, attractive, sexy woman, whatever it might be, smart, successful, grabbing her, getting her, like, boom, I knocked her down. And then Put now I don't want you working. I don't want you dressing like that. I don't want you hanging out with this person. I don't want you being too loud or social at the events. And it's like, what is that? Yeah, I think they just want, they're just being selfish. I mean, that's the only, that's the only explanation. I can't imagine that it's like so much love or maybe there's a lack of trust. You know, the person it doesn't is. trust you that maybe they think like, you know, people are going to see how great you are. that They're going to want to snag you. I don't know. But, you know, the thing is that those same people will still go and look at the girl that's dressed a certain way, that has her nails done a certain way, her makeup done a certain way, and then now she's muted, he's muted, the girl that he captured, like, captured and, like, put in a box and was like, you're not doing this, that, or the other. But he's over there, like, you know, looking at the girl. And I think that he must know what he thinks, that he's like, I don't want any other man to have those thoughts about my woman so I'm going to put her in a box. Ladies, if he's telling you to dress different, you met him one way, but now he wants you to change that, it doesn't mean he stopped liking that, that thing that he's mm -hmm. asking you to no longer do. He does like it. He just doesn't want anyone else to like, to it. like it. And you'll even hear stories of guys that will be like, cut your hair or whatever. Oh, it's yeah, so crazy. But guess what? Let me tell you something. He still likes long the long hair, hair. or whatever. 
and it is pretty insane. It's I'll give you a little like example that was kind of eye opening to me years ago. I have a lot of brother in laws um, that I mentioned to, on the show before, and one of them we were out to dinner, and he says. Um, I really hope that I can meet someone like you and I can have a wife like you. And he was really Being sweet. Really nice. And he was explaining why and all this stuff. And then I go, yeah. And I go, so what? So let's just say you meet her. Like, how, what, what kind of husband are you going to be? And he goes, well, first of all, I'm going to be like, you can't leave the house with makeup on. Mm. You got to, like, cut your hair, put your hair up. If you go to the grocery store, you can't be wearing heels. You gotta... So then he describes, like, the opposite of me. And the then help. I go, He's describing yeah. how. So then I go, wait, what? And this, by the way, he's a handsome man. And yeah. he was like successful. He is successful. And I go, what? The? And he comes off very confident. And I go, what in the heck? So you what just want to capture the... her and turn her into something you aren't even attracted to? Because what's going to happen is you'll have her, but you're not even attracted to her. And then you're going to end up cheating mm-hmm. on her. And then P.S. essentially fast forward like 10 years. And that's kind of like what, what happened? happened. Yeah. 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 And it happens a lot often than than not. Or sometimes when you meet someone, maybe he's a mechanic, and then you're like, I think I can make him into a corporate man. And he could own like, his own mechanic location. No, entrepreneur. he just wants to be a mechanic. Like, yeah. on period. Leave him alone. And the girl, you know, she wants to dress like a, what do you call them, baby prostitute? A baby prostitute. Let her dress like a baby <laughs> prostitute. Like, just leave her alone. She you know, like, have her booty cheeks hanging out. Like just you, knew, you know, you, knew you knew what, she was what you got yourself you into. Yeah. Like don't yeah. mm, you know if if a person wants to change, they're gonna make the changes. If they don't, just don't even try because they're not gonna change, and eventually they're gonna revert back to what they really are. That's exactly, it. and that's just what it is. It's true, so. but you know, at the end of the day, I just oh, I think it's a great um, alert system for yourself. If you have these alarms going off in you, red flags, and you go. <gasps> Oh what my gosh, this? she looks good, but like, why am I so upset by it? Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's you have an insecurity, likely. If if it's someone that you think you can trust, and she navigates in a way that's very, you know, respectful and stuff yeah. like that, but you just don't want everybody looking at her or everyone being attracted to her. You just got to go. Hey, you know what? I'm mm-hmm. probably a little bit insecure. She might be a little bit out of my league. Um, and it's just rise up to the occasion and and, and but know there were, that like, you can positive trust changes her. that within each other you guys could do right like if you guys are both kind of a little overweight and you see your husband and he's a little struggling with the weight or your significant other there are things that you guys can actually sit down and be like how can we get to a better place and, and that's that means, the opposite and um, that's actually the opposite yeah, of no, all this of course yeah. and and you know and that's literally what I'm trying to say is like you need to get to a point where both people can actually sit there and say, how can I better you and how can you better me? And how can we, like, just really try to work this out rather than being like, how can I change you, put in a box, and, like, let no one see you? Most women don't want their husbands to work out. Most women will have met their husbands fit fit. because this and that, whatever they do, construction, whatever, and all of a sudden they want that guy to have the the dad bod. They don't want them to work out. I've met so many men that met their wives fit and don't want her to be fit afterwards i mean there's this whole thing about like you know what jiggles is actually sexy and what's whatever does whatever doesn't jiggle is like a man mm. there's so many different perspectives right but at so the true. end of the day it's like so we're talking about insecurity here and that whole thing of like oh we should go both work out that's a thing too but there's also the people we're talking to right now they're, they're not like, they're the toxic mm, ones they're, they're like they no, want to like gonna hide get them some- extra tacos they're like, like i'll go to the gym the but you stay home you know Where what i mean like oh man yeah, really. yeah they get the wives are like feeding him and feeding yeah, him yeah they're like him. i'm gonna put extra sour cream on the most they're like i'm gonna make his favorite tacos every day every until day. he gets like chubbed out yeah. yeah and you're like I'm, it's working it's so working he can get chubbed out so i just think you know at the end of the day whatever you meet ask yourself if this is if this is it if this is it is this good enough for me but if you're married already, by the way, I know we talk a lot about being single and this is like a marriage and divorce show. Like if you're married already and you're just in it and everything, one of the things that I can tell you is like what Delia said, if you miss that he had abs, you know, back in the day, you know what? Just cook him chicken breast yeah. with broccoli. Start cutting, reducing the carbs a little bit at dinner And water time. at dinner. Yeah. There's little period. things you can do. I'm just There's kidding. little things you can do. <laughs> yeah, go you know, on a run. Put some protein dinner. powder in his coffee or something. You know, just hook, hook him up. Hook him up. Be like, honey, we got to go move those flower pots from there to there. Like, you know, just start putting them. Yeah, work. just and you got to lift them really high because I want to check out, you know, the arms. So, I mean, I think there's so many things, and there are toxic relationships. There are people that you think you could change. At the end, you probably won't. And there are people that you know what come into your life and they literally make you better and and that's literally what it's all about it's like 
find someone that makes you shine bright like that a star. makes you want to, to be a shine. better person yes. Robert De Niro has a wonderful line I think it was Robert De Niro in some movie and they said how, he goes how did you know the guy goes how did you know she was the one he said she makes me want to be a better man and, and as that's women, what it is it happens too so yes. look for that person look for that person that makes you feel better but for now Remember that you deserve fresh, fresh lettuce. lettuce. Cheers. Nothing less. Cheers.